Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, um, I just want to welcome you. Um, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how I use LA Girl Pro Concealer. Anyway, LA Girl Pro Concealer has such a large array of colors. Um, I mean, they have everything from a yellow corrector to a green corrector to correct any kind of redness. Even their medium beige is kind of on the pinkish, peachy side, which is great for hiding any kind of slight discoloration underneath your eyes. And they have a porcelain color all the way down to dark cocoa. They even have a warm color corrector shade like this one here from the La Maquillage MAC Pro palette. Um, they also have that in liquid form as well. Um, they were just out of it and I really don't, I, I think I have enough of this color right here. But um, that is just great for people who are dark skin and have a, where their dark um, pigmentation happens to be a lot darker than people my complexion. So that's great for people like you. So if you, if you're looking for something like that, I would say check out your local beauty store, um, or you can go online to their website for the people who do not want to go on a hunting mission. But if you have nothing else to do, you don't mind going to your local beauty store, you should be able to call and find out if they carry these brands, which a lot of them do. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start by color correcting. I like to get that out of the way before moving on to my foundation. Otherwise, it's like you put on a foundation, you're kind of going to mess up that perfect look. That's how I feel anyway. But there's no wrongs, no rights. You can always do whatever you like. And I'm going to start out with medium beige. I'm also going to take that same medium beige and clean up my eyebrows since I've already penciled them in. And I like to put this product on the back of my hand so I can easily take the amount that I need and not apply too much to my uh, to my face. That includes with a concealer or, you know, using it for however you're going to use it with. And for the redness, you can take both the green color corrector and mix it with this medium beige or mix it with your um, normal foundation that matches your skin to color correct around the nose area and anywhere else that may have some redness. And you can just take your finger and do a stapling motion to blend this in. Do not rub, just staple back and forth like you would do with a blending sponge. Or a brush okay so now that we've even out the skin tone gotten out rid of the redness and the slight discoloration underneath the eyes and clean up the brows I'm gonna move on to the contour color and keep in mind for the blending process you can use any one of these products to blend in your foundation I'm gonna start off with is dark cocoa I'm gonna concentrate that in the hollows of my cheeks underneath my tip of my nose and under my lip and to apply the concealer, you can use any foundation brush that works for you. And when you apply it, try not to pass this area, the corner of your eye, the contour color. I got a little right on there. And I'm just gonna brush it down because I want the area underneath my jawline to appear darker. This also slims down this area instead of making your jawline pop out and protrude along with it. And I forgot we're also gonna apply it down here as well. Next color I'm gonna move on to is Fawn. I'm gonna apply that there. And for this, I'm gonna mix up, for the top area, I'm gonna mix a little bit of the dark cocoa in this Fawn color um, to just deepen it up just a little bit. Cause I, I don't mind contouring my forehead, but I don't want it to be like this shape going around like this. I can't stand that shape. And I realize I've been doing that. Like, let me just, cause I was like, what looks wrong with this? It looks good until I get up here and I realize I need to make this a different shade from here. And keep in mind, um, this concealer dries very quickly actually. So I need to be mindful about blending this out. And of course, maybe the, be the best solution for also blending this out will also be choosing to go with uh, the beauty blender or any kind of blending sponge.
Okay, for the next one, I'm gonna take this yellow corrector and the fine color and mix them together to come out with my highlight shade. And I have to say that it's yellow corrector. I am so loving this because I have a yellow undertone. So, I mean, use I use this for, you know, cleaning up my eyebrows when I feel like it's a highlight, just the little points here. But I mix it with um, medium beige just to give it a little bit of a kick. Um, I've used this to mix to get my foundation shades correct. Um, when they're too pinky and they're they're just not yellow enough you know some are and if you're in doubt about your color just take your time and mix it and test it to your chest right here uh, to make sure it matches so you know your face down to your neck down to your chest your chest everything matches so that's where I would match this so I'm gonna mix it on the back of my hand And I'm just gonna take whatever color that's left over on the fawn and the yellow, mix it together so it can be a little bit deeper than this area and apply it down here. Cause I don't like my jawline to pop out. I feel like that makes me look a little bit mannish. Cause I feel like it makes my jawline look older. If that makes sense, I just don't like that. All right, so let's get in this. I'm gonna start with the lightest color. And if you feel like you got some dark product on there, um, just make sure to have a towel. I usually have a towel sitting right in my lap and I just wipe it off in there because you don't want to take the colors that you don't want to travel over there. Let me wipe that off. At any point you feel like it's too dark, especially like right here in this contour color that I have that is blazing. Uh, you can always add more of the color that we add in between here over it to blend it out. And that's probably what's gonna end up happening. Oh, and I forgot to, forgot to add the light shade right there. Oopsie. And just take your time for this. Do not be in a rush, because if you're gonna rush, I'm gonna tell you this now, it's not, it's, you're not gonna be happy with your results. And we can always correct this shade right here. Let's just start by lightening it up first. Take a little bit of the mixture that was on my palette and I'm adding it to that. It's a yellow mixture. There you go. Like I said, you wanna make sure you get this right. It has too much dark colors on it, just switch up your brush. Use a different one. All right, and then if you wanted to tone this down a bit more, you can go over it with a beauty blender or a Real Technique sponge, whatever you prefer. And I know you guys, if you watch my videos, you know I, you never see me using this. But for this purpose, because it's a little bit looking on the cakey side, I'm gonna take it down a notch because I don't want to put, by the time I put powder on there, uh, it just looks too much. But if you like it thick, this is for you. And same thing, just make sure you do the lighter areas first and just bounce. You are not dragging this. You're not blending this in, you're not rubbing it. You're just bouncing this. And then you can go to the darker areas. So much better because I saw just too much sitting on my skin don't know and I'm gonna move on to adding some kind of cream blush or lipstick whatever you want to add on your face I'm just a brush lover but for the case of removing some product you know what I mean I will definitely be using that all right so now I'm gonna move to setting this and for me I prefer to mix my powders because I'm not completely yellow like this Ruby Kisses banana and I'm not pink like this air sponge translucent because it does have a pink undertone. All right, so before setting in the under eye area, make sure you look up, and I like to do each eye one at a time. Look up, use your wedding finger, and softly, gently pat this back and forth. I'm not rubbing, I'm just stapling motion. Hmm. Never used this before. 
And I like to get the con the powder near the side of my nose here, because that really helps to slim down. Unlike if you have the contour color coming all the way out here, it makes your nose look wider in pictures and things like that. So keep that in mind when you're powdering, make sure to at least get this by the side of your nose. Please don't get all over here. But you know, get it right here on the side of your nose and there. So, and bring the color down that way. And I, I like to take it right about there and stop. I don't like to exceed this all the way to the end of my head and then you see a white line casting going all the way over here. There's no reason for that. Um, just let it fade out. And then I also like to get this area right here because what I noticed in the past is if I don't press the powder in, I end up having these fine lines because I smile and laugh so much that I'll end up having like a line of just makeup missing. So you just apply it and you roll it. It's like you're pressing it in. Just like to apply some right there in the middle. And I like to apply it on the top part of my nose, not on the bottom, otherwise you end up making this whole area look large. So just on this part here, and then I add a little separation, and then I apply this here. So it's not like a full on light line running all the way up your nose. You're, I'm actually working on creating a shape, which is creating this little button here, and separating it by not applying the powder right there, and then applying the powder right there. And for the top part, you can take any fluffy brush and you know buff in that same color. I usually like to tap it in the mixture and then put it in my hand, run it around, and then apply it to my forehead. I have to sit here for a little bit and mix this Milani um, powder foundation in Frisco and the same color we just used from Black Radiance Bronze Glow. I'm gonna mix it together because I really want something a little bit lighter. And I really just need to find another pressed powder that's a little bit lighter to accommodate that. Because I want this area in the top of my head to be lighter. I don't want to have this whole glow, like something circulars around my forehead action going on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and buff this whole thing out now and remove all of this powder. This color right here, and I'm going to use that. All right, I'm gonna use this setting spray from Ulta. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial on how to contour with the Early Girl Pro Concealer useful, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.